There are a lot of ways to build a strong body. And for the residents of Miami-Dade, getting your COVID-19 vaccination is an important part. Help everyone stay safe as we continue to fight the spread. And we can protect those most vulnerable around us. With easy access to vaccination locations and the growing ability for more people to be protected, it's our best shot to keep moving forward. It's our best shot for a strong, healthy community. For more information, visit miamidade.gov slash vaccine. Good morning. It's Tuesday and it's 11 a.m., which means it's time for the FIU Music Hour here on WDNA 88.9 FM, where we feature students, faculty, and alumni from Florida International University School of Music. I'm your host today and FIU faculty, Dr. Russ Spiegel, and along with our producer, Dr. Karen Velaz, we'd like to welcome you to our show. Whether you're listening to us at home, in your car, or live on WDNA.org slash FIU, we are delighted to have you with us. Today, we are pleased to have the Albermudez Trio featuring guitarist and composer and FIU alumnus, Alvaro Bermudez, along with bassist Jeffrey Kipperman and drummer Ryan Hecker. Alvaro is a graduate from FIU with a master's in music and is very active on the Miami music scene. The band will be playing originals and jazz standards with Alvaro's unique take on this music. And I think they're going to begin with the Duke Pearson tune, Janine. Thank you. 
Tune and I guess the version I have in my head is the, um, is the Eddie Jefferson version. It's very nice to be on the radio on the station that um, really when I started, when I moved to Miami in 96, there were no iPods and I didn't have the entire world's music on my phone. 
And DNA was a place, actually DNA was the first place I ever heard the tune Janine, and that's a fact, that's a fact. Always very thankful to the station for everything I've learned from it. Um, uh, it's the first town I've been in that had a station like this, and it's a very uh, great uh, pleasure for me to be here a second time with my friends Jeff Kipperman on bass and uh, Ryan Hecker on drums. That tune was uh, Janine, like I said, and it's dedicated to Janine Larman, who's my favorite Janine, and uh, to my student, Gian. And this next tune uh, is for my dad. Um, my dad was a lover of Cuban music, and uh, we're Colombian by, by extract, and I always play a Cuban song when I come here to, as a tribute to this wonderful city that took me in. Um, and this song starts its life as a tango, though, so the lyrics are very developed and very poetic, and um, you can look up a translation on your own for Las Cuarenta by Roberto Grela. And the version that I have in mind is the Rolando La Serie version. You can look that one up as well. Thank you very much. Uh, Las Cuarenta. Nice, nice, Alvaro. Maggie, Maggie knows that tune. Maggie, Maggie knows that tune. Did I, I got it all in there, right? I got it all in there, didn't I? <laughs> I love that song very much. It's a big, big poem, and beautiful. I'm glad, 
that you guys played it with me so beautifully. Thank you, thank you. So I have uh, some questions I would like to ask okay, you. Okay, fine. Yeah, so since you were talking about your background a little bit, you're, you're <clears throat> Colombian by background, um, can you tell us about your musical background and how you ended up playing guitar of all instruments? No, I'd be glad to. Um, I'm from White Plains, New York. That's where I hail from. I was born there. And then uh, I grew up um, a soccer playing Westchester kid, you know, until the summer before fifth grade when I got hit by a car. Yeah, and I, I broke my tibia and fibia, and, and I was home watching MTV, and then Def Leppard f f f fooling came on, and that was the story of me. Uh, it was all, it was all that, downhill that was from it. there. That's all she wrote. I, I, I got a guitar a week later, and here I am on the radio, <laughs> I don't know how many years later. Uh, but well, uh, I, I began playing rock and roll, then I moved to Colombia, which is where I learned a, a bit of nylon string folk guitar and the whole wealth of Colombian and, and Latin songs. And that helped me later on in theory and in jazz much more than my rock background had because those songs were built kind of as music in their natural state. Mm -hmm. So when I was told what a normal progression was, I said, oh, that's just like this bolero I've been playing for 10 years, and so on and so forth. So it was wonderful for me. Mm -hmm. Then, like I said, I came back to America when I was 18 and I went to college. Luckily, I ended up at FIU with um, Lindsey Blair, and I took improv with Errol Rakipov and with Mike Orta and, and all the people who have been on the station and, Mm -hmm. And I just took to the music, and, and again, I took to Miami, and I kept playing and growing and meeting people like these guys, and yeah, and you. <laughs> <laughs> and me. <laughs> that, that's been it. Um, so who are some of your big influences musically and on the instrument? In, 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 in our genre, I think, in jazz, I, 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 look, I look everywhere. I think Schofield probably, John Schofield, really um, is important to me as is Matheny and Stern. Mike, Mike Stern actually, Standards and Other Songs is the first record I ever owned. It's the first jazz record I ever heard, kind of random one to have heard first, yeah. Hmm. Next New York City cop gave it to me. He said, here man, you're gonna love this. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and, but then later, um, <clears throat> Joe Pass and Wes, and those two, kind of my first two semesters of school were spent on just figuring out, trying to figure out what Joe Pass and Wes were saying, and I couldn't really, but then Grant Green helped me understand things, which he does for a lot of us, I think. Because mm -hmm. Grant Green kind of plays um, kind of natural sounding guitar notes, but in a jazz context. Right, there wasn't that right. much sleight of hand. There was so much sleight of hand with, with Wes and with, with Joe that I couldn't understand it on my own. But Grant Green, I could hear and and I could say, oh, wow, I, I hear that, you know. Well, there's a lot it of blues in there. A lot of blues in Shh. which and a helps lot of, us connect. And a lot of just very simple, minor sounding things similar to the Latin stuff I'd heard, you know. Mm. And it, it all made sense. I heard him making changes simply, and it, and it stayed with me a lot. I'm very thankful to Grant Green for that. Yeah. Fantastic. And how about these gentlemen you, you're playing with? You, you play with them quite often, don't you? I do, yeah. In, 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 in this genre, Ryan, and many other things, Ryan and, I, Ryan and I have done a few musicals and shows and Broadway-type things, and Jeff and I have played klezmer, we've played gypsy jazz, we've played Latin music, and we've played this. And, show tunes. And everything. Yeah, show tunes. These are great friends of mine. And, Mm -hmm. and again, they're great musicians. They're kind of chameleonic, you know, and I, I like that about myself a bit, that I can go here or there and, and play the gig. And these guys can do that. I've seen them doing all kinds of things, which is why yeah. I always call them back. <laughs> that's, that's a pretty important thing. You can always get one gig, but it's if you get that second gig. Yeah, that's, yeah that's, exactly. When exactly. you get that call back, then you've, you know you've done something right. Sure. And um, you also compose. You're also a writer. You're, you're a singer as well. And you've composed for many different types of uh, um, ensembles, you want to talk a little about that? Yeah, well, I mean, I've, I've written jazz songs, and we're going to do one of mine in a bit, and the other ensemble that I've written the most for is the, uh, choir plus guitar. I mm -hmm. have, um, luckily, this, ta this town has been very good to me, and in this town, I happen to become a founding member of Seraphic Fire, which is a, a, a local choir that travels around the country making beautiful choral music um, from the year 1000 and 1100 until today, and they do everything in between. And luckily they've uh, commissioned me and premiered several of my works. I even earned a Knight Foundation grant through them, which was an awesome thing in my life, and that's been great, and I do enjoy writing for that. Classical guitar and choir together, yeah, yeah. But this, I guess, am I up pretty soon? Or I guess I'll segue into my next tune, which is uh, for, for college I, I wrote, um, a set of pieces that were Colombian dances with a jazz flavoring, sort of a dance suite, the way you might have heard Bach write, you know, a, a 
Bach would have written a suite that had a, a minuet, a gavotte, and all sorts of French dances. Right. And I wrote one with Colombian dances. All right, but before before we get to that, okay. where else could our listeners see you performing? Any place coming up in the near future? In the near future, in public? This, yes, in this public, is, in is, front of other been human a, beings. A very corporate, gig-friendly um, couple of months here. And do I even know where I'm playing in public? <laughs> Next time, I'm playing at Jada Cole's next Thursday night with a rock and roll band. That should be a hoot. That's right around the corner from here. It, it's right next door, as a matter yeah, of exactly. fact. Yeah, exactly. That's going to be great. That'll be on Thursday, whatever the Thursday of next week is. It's going to okay. be a lot of fun. I guess it's the 24th, I think. Okay. That, that'll be, it'll be fun to see you guys at that, but it won't sound like this, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, so what's the name of the tune you're going to be performing next? This next tune is called, very simply, Vals, which is Spanish for waltz. Again, all the tunes in this... And this set go by the name of the dance they represent. And this is a very simple waltz, but some of the melodic elements might be borrowed from old Colombian songs. But anyway, here goes. Uh, this is Valse by Alvaro Bermudez. Thank and you. the Alvaro Bermudez Trio here on FIU's Music Hour.
You're listening to the FIU Music Hour on WDNA 88.9 FM with the Al Bermudez Trio. We'll be right back after these messages. back with the FIU Music Hour with Albert Muse Trio, Trio on WDNA 88.9 FM. This week, the FIU School of Music will be hosting the following concerts on Tuesday, February 15th, 2022 at 7.30 p.m. That is tonight at the Wertheim Concert Hall, FIU Symphonic Band and Brass Choir. The FIU Symphonic Band, directed by Barry Bernhardt, and the FIU Brass Choir, directed by Jim Hacker, are coming together for one night of um, outstanding music. Audiences will be delighted with works by Victor Ewald, Ralph Vaughn Williams, James Kernow, Robert Spital, and more. Tomorrow, Wednesday at 7.30 p.m., works for piano, cello, and electronics at the Wilsonian, or the Wolfsonian in uh, Miami Beach, and this will be part of the New Music Miami ISCM Festival 2022. The International Society for Contemporary Music has championed and presented cutting-edge contemporary classical music over its 25 years of existence, including music for soloists, chamber ensembles, and music with video and electronics. Serving as a platform for a wide variety of composers and performers from all over the world, representing, representing numerous cultures, ethnicities, and backgrounds, it has established itself as an important annual cultural event in South Florida. And also, starting Saturday, February 19th, and going through Sunday, February 27th, FIU School of Music presents the 7th Miami International Git Art Festival 2022 with in-person and online events, including 18 concerts, six lectures, six master classes and workshops, a Luthiers Expo and Concert Artist Performance Competition semifinals and finals. The festival opens on Saturday with the semifinal round of the Concert Artist Performance Composition, a competition, I should say. More info at the MIGF website, migf.fiu.edu. For these and many more exciting events, you can find information at fiu.universitytickets.com or music ticks, that's T I X, at fiu.edu. And now back to our show with Alvaro Bermudez. We've all been there? Oh, yes, it was the old tuner issue. The old tuner issue. OK. Right, OK, here we go. Take. All right, take two.
that um, ballad was on the first record that I ever owned, which was uh, Peace by Horace Silver. And um, also, I, I share a birthday with Horace Silver, September 2nd. Oh, yeah. OK. I love playing that song. And Jeff does, too, uh, as it showed. Um, this is next. Uh, again, this is definitely the first place I ever heard this song was definitely WDNA. This is Along Came Betty. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
You've been listening to the Al Bermudez Trio, featuring guitarist and composer Alvaro Bermudez, bassist Jeffrey Kipperman, and drummer Ryan Hecker on the FIU Music Hour on WDNA 88.9 FM. I've been your faculty host, Dr. Russ Spiegel, and along with our producer, Karen Velaz, we'd like to thank our production crew, FIU grad students, Najee McLean and Samantha Stern, WDNA's wizard, Alex Aldrich, on sound and tech, and the staff of WDNA 88.9 FM for today's broadcast. If you would like more information on all our programs, make sure to call 305-384-2896 or simply like our Facebook page to stay up to date with all our upcoming performances. We also have an Instagram page as well. Thank you so much for joining us and make sure to join the FIU Music Hour for more great music every Tuesday, 11 a.m. to noon. Thanks again to our guests. And what's the last tune you want to play for us? We're going to play Confirmation. Confirmation. All right. And um, thank you, Russ, and thank you for the station having me on. And thank you to my wife, Christy, for helping me deal with life. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> you know, she's a Miami girl, and I'm glad I found her here as well as the station. <laughs> Both treasures of my life, my wife and DNA. Wonderful stuff. Fantastic. And she's actually local. She's from this part of town originally. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great. Thank you guys very much. Confirmation. Confirmation. Thank you.